Hey, what's up guys, kind of conservative engineer back with another video and this is the one of the most popular questions that you will probably ask if you're in the field of civil engineering. Do civil engineers need their masters? Well, guess what just came in the mail? I got my master's degree. <laughs> so, I don't want to sound too hypocritical. Personally, I believe civil engineers don't need their masters and I'll tell you why. Um, well, again, it's a case by case thing. So this is Cool, it looks nice. Listen, this, this, this does look pretty sick though. Another um, accolade I'll put on my wall, but whatever. We'll leave this to the side. So, um, do civil engineers need their master's degrees? Now, here's the thing, right? If you are going in that licensed professional engineering route, um, it is not really needed because I did a study. Majority of the licensed professional engineers in the United States do not have their masters, right? They just have a lot of experience. They passed their PE exam, done. Now, it is beneficial, it is to your benefit to get a master's if you feel like your experience is not going to count um, as uh, like engineering experience because what a master's does is it gives you one year of experience. So say you work in like construction management and quality assurance, special inspections, and you're not doing like design design, you might not get your four years approved, right, by the board, whatever board you choose in New York, they're very, very strict. So a master's does help because you will get one year of experience, so that is a plus. Now, the opportunity cost is, it is gonna cost time and money. Master's degrees are not cheap, um, and they are time consuming, and you, many schools require a B minimum, okay, just to pass. So it's not like your undergrad where C's get degrees, no, here you need B's for the majority of schools that I looked at. So yeah, that's your opportunity cost. But now let's uh, talk about the education aspect. Um, a lot of people get their masters just because they wanna learn more about their field, which I think is a great idea. If you think that this can help you further your career, definitely like, you know, if you're in geotech or structural and you didn't learn that in undergrad well, a master's degree is a great idea because they will go into specifics. Okay, they will teach you a lot of things you did not learn in your undergraduate in your undergraduate course. Now, top design firms or design firms in, in general, they do require a master's. Okay, especially in New York City, like if you work for companies like Arup, Langan, if you work for like Musa Rutledge, or um, I've seen many other companies that do at least require a master's unless you're like super qualified, you have a PE already, and you're just your interview goes well. But I've seen I did a lot of job searches, design firms, a lot of them do require masters. Um, let's see what else. But overall, if you have the experience, you're working in the field already, you're about five to 10 years in, I do not see any reason to get a master's. I would suggest maybe get a master's in you know, business management, engineering management, if you wanna move up to that engineering like management field. I know a lot of PEs, uh, licensed engineers with MBAs, or project management is a good one too. I think that is, if you wanna just move up in a different um, I guess career field that's not engineering, but you're still applying, you know, the, the logic and the science and the math that you that you learned. So overall, I do not think masters is required for um, if you're trying to go for your PE license, but it is very very helpful if uh, your experience, if you think your experience might not count, because it's going to count for one year of experience. Um, it's, it's a nice accolade to have on your wall. Uh, but majority of licensed engineers do not have their masters. But if you want to work at one of those top design firms and you're not a PE yet, they will require a master's. But remember, the opportunity cost for masters is time, money, and you need Bs. So you, know, you got to be on your grind. Trust me, it's not like undergrad where you just fly through things. You know, you get a C and you're good to go. No, that's not the case. Listen, I was borderline about a f not getting my degree. <laughs> because uh, one of my classes, I almost got below a B. But um, yeah, that's about it. So again, feel free to disagree, but from my experience, a master is really not needed, but it does come to your advantage when you're going for your PE license. Okay, that's all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a nice day.